Hello everyone, I'm Harold Mullen and welcome to Texapa. We are delighted that you are joining us today and we have another wonderful program, some great education and information to share with you. Uh, here with me today to share that great information is Craig Odom. Craig is our president for Texapa in 2021 and Craig's also with Reese Albert Construction in San Angelo. Craig, how you doing today? Doing great, Harold. Glad to be here. Good, good. This is a really busy week for us here at Texapa. Craig is here all week long. We've got all kind of committee meetings going on. We've got board of directors going on. We've got strategic planning. So uh, we thought it would be a great time to come in, sit down with Craig and have a good conversation about what all has been going on in our industry for 2021. You know, Craig, it's crazy to think that 2021 is just about done already. It's flying by. <laughs> Absolutely flying by. You know, it just seems like uh, each year for me, it's going by quicker and quicker, but uh, this year seemed to excel a lot quicker than usual. Absolutely. A lot going on. Yes. Time flies when you're busy. Yes, no doubt about that. I know y'all have been busy out there in the field. I know there's a lot going on. Uh, I know sometimes there, it seems like we talk about challenges all the time, but I know y'all have had challenges as well as great successes out in the field. Can you tell me a little bit about what's been going on with y'all? Well, we've been really busy, which is a wonderful thing. Um, that does present its challenges, um, mm -hmm. but uh, we're thankful uh, to have the work to stay busy. Uh, always looking forward to more of it, but uh, I, I can tell you that, I mean, we're all probably sick of hearing of COVID, but it, I mean, it's kind of still affecting us a little bit. Yeah. And there's, uh, there's obviously people uh, realize that there's a challenge getting mm -hmm. uh, uh, people where they need them. Uh, I think a lot of people have seen that there's the, the trucking shortage, uh, just, getting drivers uh, and that affects our industry quite a bit actually so uh, th that's a huge challenge that we're all faced with uh, we'll get through it together right we'll find a solution um, but that's um, you know normal kind of challenges like that but we're we're ready to step up and 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 find solutions to those you bet our industry always does absolutely always does it just seems like some of these I hate to say COVID related, but but they are. You're you're exactly right. Mm -hmm. We can't ignore that point that uh, we're, we're not through with that. So uh, it, it is COVID related challenges what we're seeing. Uh, I I know we all wish it just went away. Yeah. We didn't have yeah. to ever speak about it again. But unfortunately, it's uh, that's that's not the case. I yeah. really hope it it keeps keeps uh, minimizing. Uh, we'll we'll see how that pans out. Um, but uh, uh, there's a lot of great information on the horizon there's yep. a lot of good funding sources going on right now so uh just means that we're going to get busier which is good we'll accomplish a lot of new goals and uh that's 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 what we want we're going to need those people so we're always looking for those good candidates in the industry those that are uh willing to uh jump in both feet and and, and get into it so uh, there's there's a lot of good opportunities on the horizon so i'm very hopeful you know, you're, you're exactly right. Uh, with the passage of the uh, infrastructure bill and, and the other recovery bills, we're going to be pretty busy. We, we are, yes. but there, there's those challenges, but there's lots of good opportunities, just like you said. So there are good things coming down the pike for sure. Absolutely. Good, good. You know, this year has been one of those record-setting years for Texapa, and under your leadership, we had done really good things, and I appreciate all your time and effort, number one. But Tell us about some of the things that really stick out for you with some of our meetings. I just want to talk about our meetings to begin with because okay. we've had some great ones this year. Oh, well, we have. Um, you know, our, our membership meeting, we started off the year with the Winter Golf Classic and our, and our membership meeting. Uh, we had uh, 225 in attendance. Mm -hmm. it, was, uh, it was a great, great show. I think that's our second year that we've done uh, multiple day um, yes. Yes. A meeting and, and it seemed to go very, very well. Uh, it was an it, it was an interesting meeting because you know, here's that COVID thing pop up again. A lot of our staff ended up having COVID it'd pop up with COVID <laughs> right before that. So, um, but you know they had done a great job of setting up everything and getting everything going. That it went really smooth, and I think we had a great meeting, uh, even though they were not able to attend. <laughs> um, but uh, re really enjoy those. I think the new format of those in recent years has gone very very well. Uh, a good opportunity to get together with people and um, and, and share some knowledge. A lot of text dot knowledge coming in on that. That's that's very helpful. That used to not be a part of our that's right <coughs> our membership meetings. And so uh, 
So I, I thought that went really well this year. You bet. Yeah, I've heard nothing but good things. Unfortunately, I was one of those Craig was talking about that was exposed and <laughs> and uh, actually got it. Yeah, Jim, I know. I said, he's pointing his finger at me, so I, 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 it was my fault. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> y'all did a great job. And I keep hearing good things about that. The format was wonderful, and we're coming up in January. Uh, here we are in December of 21. In January of 22, uh, we will be having our membership meeting up in uh, the Fort Worth area. So same format that y'all mm -hmm. brought forward. That was so successful. We're doing that again, having a winter golf classic and uh, multiple days of education and uh, having some tech stock speakers there to really uh, shine the light on how we can improve on our quality there. So Absolutely. Good. Absolutely. And of course, though, annual meeting was in September. An annual meeting was a big meeting. It um, was. I thought it was really good. Uh, yeah. We had... Um, we had some really good attendance for that meeting. It we was did. it was busting at the seams, which was fantastic. It was absolutely fantastic. So we're starting to starting to if it go it keeps going at this trajectory, we're we're going to have to have a, find another venue that that, that we can fit everybody in. But that's that's wonderful. It's glad to see. I'm really really glad to see uh, as much enthusiasm and participation in this, and and always always enjoy getting together with all our our members and. And, and having that time to get together and learn a few things. We had some great presentations oh, on that. really meeting. did. It really, really some, helped. Some r r really information-packed uh, presentations. Uh, I know there was a, a great one that, that uh, Charles put uh, with TTI Charles put together. Charles yeah. That, that was an amazing presentation, a lot of information. Really uh, liked um, our baseline setting. Uh, Travis Tra Patton. Travis did that. Um, well, it, Travis and... Um, Jenny Lee. Jenny, Jenny Lee, Lee, of yeah. course. Mm -hmm. uh, she did a lot of work for that as well. And uh, they, they, they did a great job of really helping us see uh, there, there's more opportunity out more there. More opportunity, that's uh, right. And uh, so that's, we, we can raise the bar a little bit. Yeah. And, and there's some uh, some benefit in doing so. So it was a really uh, eye-opening uh, uh, presentation there. So I thought yeah. that was great. No, I, I totally agree with you. Heard, I've heard... Nothing but good comments about that, especially the uh, Jenny Lee and, and Travis Patton, and we can't Fantastic. forget about old Chuck Fuller. He was part of that presentation, Absolutely. too, uh, about how informational that was, how it mm -hmm. got people to thinking about quality, about bonuses, or, you know, just uh, all the different things that surround quality. So uh, I Absolutely. thought that was very helpful. I know in one of your committee meetings this week, you've already talked about you know, where's that baseline? How do we start? How do we look? What's the path forward for the future on that? And I think y'all decided we're going to start having that session at the annual meeting every year. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, if you're going to have a goal, you've got to start with some kind of baseline to measure off of to understand whether or not um, you're achieving anything. Right. Uh, if you don't know where you were, how can you say if you've gotten any better? Yep. Uh, and so that that's the intent. Uh, I know we'll figure out some things as we go along the way and, and maybe figure out some new and better things every year. And, and that's part of the process. You bet. Uh, so y you've really got um, to establish that baseline of where you are before you can before you start. And that was the idea behind that. Uh, there'll be some tracking going on in the future yep. and uh, we're still working out some details on how those metrics will work. But uh, our partners at TechSot are really stepping up to the plate on this to really yep. help us understand um, where we need to go, what their goals are, and if we're achieving them or what, what we need to do to get there. A exactly right. Yep. I'm fired up about that too. That, that's going to be a good program for all of us. You know, talk about achieving goals mm -hmm. uh, and shooting for the future. My goodness, our scholarship program has just... Uh, <laughs> I know you set some mighty lofty goals this year, and by golly, you didn't bust them all. So, uh, you want to talk about the scholarship program? Uh, well, well, I, I, I did have kind of a number that we were kind of joking <laughs> about, um, and, and it was pretty amazing. Um, you know, I really have to thank all the generosity of our members. Uh, it wouldn't be possible without them. Absolutely, they're 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 the heroes in this, and they they do so much uh, to help out, and. Um, I, I remember back in the, in the auction and we were just at last minutes, you know, you're going, man, here we are. And man, they just, they were so giving, just started coming in like crazy. And, and um, $628,000 this year. Yes, sir. It's yes, amazing. Sir. And uh, that that's really allowed us to do so much more. So much more. And and, and that, that's, that's the whole goal of that. That's so right. 
Um, now, you know, obviously that goes directly into our scholarship fund. Mm -hmm. um, not pulling a bunch of stuff out of there. Uh, it just yeah. goes straight into doing good. And uh, so there's a lot of uh, great stuff that's come out of that. Our, our scholarships, we were able to increase the number. That's right. We're up to uh, 25. 25. Mm -hmm. And we've also increased the amount that they're getting. It's 10000 annually and 5000 each semester. Double. So that, that was uh, doubled. And that's, I mean, just from <laughs> our annual meeting to now, we've been able to pull the trigger on that. And that's just showing uh, how your contribution yeah. is going straight into helping somebody. So that, that's wonderful. Um, as, as Robert Hall says, our program changes lives. That, Absolutely. That's what we do with our scholarship program is change lives, and that's been a testament to it. Uh, from the annual meeting, our board of directors at the scholarship uh, program have always, uh, already doubled the, uh, the amount of our scholarships as well as increased the number. And also we increased the, uh, the scholarship given for the asphalt rodeo. We have the asphalt rodeo mm -hmm. that's going to be uh, finalized uh, this week on Friday. We have another live event coming up on Friday and we'll be we'll be selecting the winners of the Asphalt Rodeo. And the winner of the Asphalt Rodeo, there's four people per team and the winning team gets uh, $2,000 each. $2,000. Second place gets $1,000 and that's all because of the scholarship program. You know, that's that's amazing that we're able to do that. Uh, obviously, it comes from the generosity of our membership. Yep. Um, but I'd, I'd have to say that Asphalt Rodeo is interesting. Um, this year actually was my first year to be a judge. Oh, okay. Um, and so I, I'm really, really impressed with what we're seeing on there. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I mean, in, in the past, they've had to uh, build a, a slab uh, of hot Correct. mix. And uh, then we would test that destructively and, 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 and see which one performed best. And, mm -hmm. and there, there's a cut here for the winner on that. Well, that, that COVID thing getting in our way, um, you know, there were some difficulties uh, with doing that in person and, and the facilities needed for the, the students to do that. So uh, we went to, to a format last year that we continued this year where they're, they're diagnosing a problem, a failure on a roadway, and uh, they're given data and information, and then, and then they go in and research that and try to determine uh, what caused the failure, what was the problem. Um, and uh, I was really, really impressed at the level of research and dedication they went into really finding all the, all the little things. All the little things, yeah. And interpreting the specifications and what should be and, and even design data. And, and uh, I mean, some of these people are freshmen. Yeah. And uh, so it's, it, was, uh, it was very, very encouraging. And uh, very, you know they're very passionate about it too. They're yeah. they're really excited about it, and and I think that that you know looking at that asphalt rodeo and our scholarship, and then thinking about the future that we have, really 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 encourages me, uh, seeing what's coming up. I, I have to totally agree. It is very refreshing to see those students come through there with mm -hmm. the kind of care they're coming through, with the kind of passion. You mentioned passion. That's mm -hmm. exactly what they have. So it, it's very good, and it, it's really enlightening to or are very enriching to see when you go to these meetings that there's some students who came through that program that's already working for TxDOT or, or industry. So there's our workforce development of work right there through that program. Absolutely. Now, uh, certain individual with TxDOT it always seemed to steal those up at the last <laughs> minute, not mentioning any names, Michael Lee. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> Hey, they're there. They're great. Uh, we, we know of a few of them that already have futures and, and a graduate Absolutely. degree, and that's wonderful. Uh, but there's uh, there's some opportunities for those people, and um, they seem very, like very bright individuals. I, I think uh, they'll be an asset to our industry. No doubt about it. You know, we, uh, we mentioned that word passion, and I know this year you've had uh, a lot of passionate people working on programs around the association, mm -hmm. but one of those has been our associate members and that associate member advisory committee. Tell me about old Ryan Brown and his group. Uh, 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 Ryan has done just an amazing job this year. <clears throat> He's really um, methodically worked through and organized some things to really accomplish some goals. Yeah. And uh, he's just done really a bang up job. I'm, I'm really proud of seeing what he's done, what he's been able to organize. Um, there's, um, I think they're going in the right direction, and I, and I think the sky's the limit for them. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, they, they had uh, 
uh, one of the big things that they work on every year is the maps. That's right. Um, and unfortunately this year we weren't able to do that uh, with that old pesky word again. Mm -hmm. um, but mm -hmm. they are really, really working hard to make next year's maps a success. And I think it's going to be a bang up that event. Uh, massive stuff going on. Obviously there's a lot of, a lot of information, a lot of knowledge there um, for our cities and counties. and, and uh, engineers and and so forth, but they're also uh, going to have the opportunity to have some equipment there as well. Yeah, and this is a great opportunity to kind of have a, a mesh of all that, and um, uh, re really a, a great event. Um, so I'm I'm really proud they've they've really pushed that to the next level, and uh, so they're they're working really hard on it. And they all are. I mean, uh, Ryan has really built a network of our associate members to do that. I've had the the privilege of sitting in on some subcommittee meetings. He's got mm -hmm. several, he's got, I think, at least four subcommittees working <laughs> on the MAPS meeting, and uh, they're that, dynamite. They're on fire about it. That tells you how busy he is. He's got <laughs> yeah. four subcommittees. I mean, he's got some stuff going on. Yeah, it really so, does. And that's wonderful. Re that really, is fantastic. Really does. Very, very good. And the other thing that he's been working on, and uh, we had for the first time in, gosh, I can't remember how many years, was a technical showcase. Absolutely. You know, that that's, um, you know, those technical showcases are really, really great. We've had a few of them in the past, yeah. and uh, we've tried to do them every year in uh, multiple events, but uh, we really, through his direction, kind of align those together with our, our quarterly uh, membership meetings, and uh, there's a lot of knowledge out there in those technical showcases, a lot of opportunities to see what's out there with new new products, new mm -hmm. uh, new concepts, new tools and everything that can, uh, can help our industry. Um, so. Uh, I'm, I'm really glad he's got those going uh, as well as he has, and, and I think they've all been really well attended. Oh, that they have been. Uh, <laughs> we had our first technical showcase in July, and we did that in conjunction with uh, the brand new format, like mm -hmm. you were talking about, that, that Ryan brought around as the, uh, the quarterly membership meeting, and we had right at 100 people for our first That's one. Great. I, I think we only missed it by a couple of people, so uh, no, it, it was really, really good, and we're looking forward to doing that in 22. We'll be having more quarterly membership meetings here in beautiful Buda at the Texas Upper Campus. We're going to be having one in April of 22 as mm -hmm. well as in July of 22, and we'll have a technical showcase for each one of those. Absolutely. It's, it's a wonderful opportunity there. It really is. Uh, also, in addition to uh, our associate members, uh, you know, we've got lots of committees out there that associate members serve on, major associates, regular members serve on all of our committees. And I just wanted to point out that uh, you have had a, a, a great a group of committee chairs to work on a lot of things, and they've stayed steady after it, haven't they? Absolutely. Um, I tell you, those uh, those guys are just doing a bang up job. Um, <coughs> they're meeting uh, very regularly, and they just it's constant pressure. They're, they're just they're they're just grinding stuff out. And uh, you know, it, it might be easy to say, "Hey, we're just going to have one big meeting and knock everything out," but it's just not the way things work, right? right. So. Um, you, you've got to you got to keep chipping away, get what you can get done, and, and just continually do it, and uh, you know continually address the problem. And uh, they've done that. Everything yep. that they've tasked at, they're just they're constantly on it, and um, their persistence a, 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 is um, is commendable. It I mean, is. It, it's it's challenging. It takes a lot of time for them to do that, and um, and they're doing the job very very well. Uh, they are, and uh, this week we get to celebrate that. Craig is going to have uh, all the committee chairs in. We're having our great Christmas dinner we have every year, a great tradition that y'all have, mm -hmm. have got going on here, and we're going to hear from our committee chairs. They're going to give a report to the board of directors of all the accomplishments we've had in 21. You know, with that, we have a lot of great joint committees. Uh, that's committees that we have with TxDOT, AGC, and other groups, too, as, as well as from TxAPA. And, and Craig, I know you're you're a part of several of those joint committees. Those <laughs> committees have been extremely active. This Absolutely. Year. Uh, our joint committees are huge. Um, there's, there's a whole lot that comes out of those. Um, I guess really um, the... Probably the one that a lot of them spin off of is our Asphalt uh, Quality Initiatives Program, uh, our committee. And uh, our Asphalt Quality Initiatives uh, Committee really, a, a lot of these other ones kind of spin off of them. So yeah. it's, it's kind of a, a parent in the tree, if you will. But uh, uh, that one, uh, of course, that, I co chair that one with uh, Lance Simmons. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, he's doing a great job now. He, he, uh, 
he, he got to jump in mid-year after Michael <laughs> uh, left. But um, no, there's there's been, even going back years here, uh, there, there's amazing efforts that have come out of that. Uh, you know, balanced mix design, yeah. um, our liquid asphalt working group, mm -hmm. which uh, we'll, we'll talk about those a little bit, but um, there's, there's, there's so much that have come out of that that is instrumental to the industry. So that's, that's really where we're talking about a lot of ideas and what we really want to focus on and, 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 then, and then, you know, splitting off and, and tackling those. So it, very, very important. Uh, also, you know, our sale coat committee. Yeah. Uh, that, that, that's, I think there is, it's remarkable what they've been able to achieve. Mm -hmm. uh, there's so many people that have come together and really worked, uh, really for one thing, it's just to improve the quality of their shell coats. Right. And, um, and uh, everybody's on board. Uh, I mean, you've got, obviously, TechSap is in there, and AGC, and TechSpot, and mm -hmm. all the industry, and, and everybody's just working to, towards a unified goal. And um, that, it's amazing to see that. It, it, it really is, and there's so many initiatives that they've had going on in there. and. You know, one of those things that really came to light is that, you know, they pull it off, they got it, is we're, we're getting to uh, to celebrate, you know, quality Silco projects and people now, just like Absolutely. we do on the hot mix side of things. And we had, at our annual meeting, we had a, had an awards presentation. Absolutely. And uh, the, the, the award, I think that's amazing, too, to have an awards program now on our Silco. Yeah. The John Epps. Yeah. Uh, Dr. John A. Epps Award. Absolutely. That's right. yep. No, that's, that's wonderful, and it's really recognizing those people that are going above and beyond. Yes. And just... And just really doing a great job. So I I, I love that uh, a lot of good good yep. projects that were yep. showcased at our our annual meeting on that, and I'm 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 fant I'm really thrilled uh, yeah, no about doubt. how that's going. So no doubt, and um, that and that's a joint committee too, uh, the Silk Road Awards as mm -hmm. well as I, I want to mention Glenn Dvorak, uh, Chris Cowan at, at Text co-chair of our Quality Asphalt Pavement Awards program too, and Absolutely. that was dynamite this year. Absolutely. No, that, that was that was great. I, I, I hope everybody liked the video presentation yeah, version. Yeah. I think that kind of flowed well. Absolutely. And, uh, it gave us an opportunity to uh, to interject some, some more visuals and information about it uh, that wouldn't always be done if somebody just got up there and talked about it. So yep. uh, hopefully that presentation went well. I thought it was, uh, it was good, good icing on the cake there. But um, just just amazed at how much um, good quality oh. is out there and how many candidates it really is. Uh, are available every year now. We had a record number this year. I think it was 72 or 78 projects that were nominated this uh, year. So that's it was a record. That is absolutely wonderful. It is. It really yeah. is. You know, we talked about passion. We talked about a lot of those type of things. And in a joint committee setting, our major associate members at TechSapa have really taken several steps forward, not just the next step, several steps forward yes. about quality liquid asphalt, all, all asphalt, all asphalts across the board, and they've done mm -hmm. a great job, and it's all also been a, a joint effort with TechSap through this whole thing. Ted Flanagan has been our, our chair for the major associate members for the last two years, and uh, they form, under your leadership, the and the uh, Quality Initiatives Committee, that they formed the Liquid Asphalt mm -hmm. Working Group back in March. Yep. And now they're meeting on a monthly basis. That's amazing. You know, that's, that's, that's such an important part. Um, you know, it, you look at our silk coat and our hot mixes, you know, a big part of that yeah. is our liquid binders. Absolutely. <laughs> and so it, it's really important that, that that's right. Yeah. Um, and it, it's really important that, um, you know, you know, TechSot recognizes what they're getting and that the industry understands what they're uh, to be providing and that that, that that communication and that partnership is really, really strong. And that's what this is really about, yes. is to work together to, to make sure you're all coming together and everybody understands what they're getting and every, everybody's on the same page and, and that we're working together, again, for that quality, you know, that's, you know, what the taxpayers are paying for. And um, that's what we want to give them. And uh, this is another tool on that, and they're they're, they're making enormous strides. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot that goes on in that, and uh, there there's quite a few meetings going on. But I mean, <laughs> they are making progress every meeting, and and, um, and, and I think we're going to see see results out of that. Oh, there's no doubt, no doubt, no doubt about that. 
you know, and I think one of the things that they have helped us understand is is how much education needs to be given out there. Absolutely. You know, I mean, there's a lot of education from a sampling and testing standpoint that they're mm -hmm. involved in, and and many other things. And really, uh, you 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 identified that early on and uh, have started us on a whole educational series through the uh, Asphalt Pavement Quality Initiatives Committee. Yeah, that's that's been great. Now, yep, obviously another one there that's come from our. Uh, Quality Initiatives uh, Joint Committee there, and and uh, I think the the team there uh, through the committee uh, recognized the need and uh, set us on this path. So obviously, uh, if y'all haven't heard about it already, uh, we do have an inspectors course, mm -hmm. um, and that's been going on uh, for a while now. Multiple mm -hmm. courses have been completed, uh, but what is is new? Um, is our engineering associates course. That's right, and um, that's. That's uh, it's had a pilot program on it, and uh, that's been vetted, uh, be coming out in uh, January, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll we'll be having uh, multiple courses throughout the year, um, and it, it's it's kind of interesting what this is. Um, this this is, you know, there's there's a lot of upper mobility in TxDOT right now, which yeah. is which is fantastic, uh, but it also means that there's a lot of people uh, moving into new positions quickly, and that 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 knowledge curve mm -hmm. needs to be faster too. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, and so a lot of people are really, you know, they're wanting that information, that's great. Uh, now we have some very high level um, hot mix uh, courses that can uh, give you from A to Z on <laughs> everything, get down into the weeds and, and but uh, but those courses sometimes if, if you don't have enough knowledge to get to the table on those, mm -hmm. they're, they're pretty tough. Yeah, they are. Um, but uh, so so there's there's something in there to to, to get there's an in between there, and uh, that's what this engineering essentials course is, and it's really targeting on um, hot mix pavements mm -hmm. and um, uh, design construction maintenance. Uh, there there's multiple things that are involved there, but it's it's really to bring up a little bit of knowledge set that 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 you may not have had the opportunity to get at this point. Uh, but you may not really need to be going to that super high level. That's right. And, and so this is an opportunity to get it, and um, you know it's it, it'll be a great review tool as mm -hmm. well. Um, mm -hmm. There's so many things that change in this industry uh, in short order that um, it'd be great for a refresher for some people that you know may have the knowledge but need to update some stuff too. You so uh, thought that 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 opportunity was there. And uh, so far, it seems well well received, and uh, we'll we'll continue to refine that and, and expand it. Mm -hmm. There will be some um, deeper dives. We're mm -hmm. calling them uh, pavement design, uh, maintenance, construction. Th there's there's a multitude of deeper dives. If if you need to get into some specific area in more detail, uh, that that's going to be provided as well. So look for those as well because they're coming. Exactly, and we're very fortunate to have Professor Jill Moore that yeah, uh, teaches those those classes. So, uh, if y'all have not had the opportunity to join in on one of Jim's classes, I really encourage you to do so. Uh, Craig has put a lot of effort in making sure we, we reach the the right group, that we put the right information in there. Craig, mm -hmm. thank you. You've been a real champion for this program, by the way, and thank you for that. I think it's good. I mean, the the more knowledge and education we all share. Mm -hmm. The better off we are. Mm -hmm. uh, we communicate with the same language. We're we're we're, you know, we're all up to speed, yep. and uh, I, I I think that benefits all of us. So Jim's done a wonderful job on this. He's had uh, he's had his plate full. Yep. Uh, yep. Most definitely had his plate full. <laughs> uh, but he's he's making. The pool hall. <laughs> uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, but that that's that's great. He's done a fantastic job, and uh, we're we're hitting uh, most of our timelines right on right on the money, which is fantastic. I love to see that. Um, you know, you, you talked about like who maybe maybe the audience would be for this, mm -hmm. and, and I mean, hey, there's a wide array of audience uh, for the engineering essentials. So, I mean, you might think about you know somebody might think of a uh, a designer, um, whether oh, yeah. whether he's a PE an EIT or a technician. There, there's valuable information in this. Um, he could be text dot or he could be C and I. Oh, definitely. Um, absolutely. This is not limited to tech stock. Um, and, um, I mean, you've got people that uh, that deal with this 
um, in terms of the construction aspect of it, uh, whether it's an area engineer or an assistant area engineer or the director of construction or, I mean, there's, and then there's so many different, you know, I couldn't name them all. That's right. There's quite a few out there. So uh, there, there's, there's a lot of opportunities here and, and everybody's going to be at a little different level. Yep. Um, and, and this is, th th this is reinforcing some of that knowledge uh, that you may already know, yep. but may uh, get some other stuff in there too. So it's a, it, it, it's a, it's a great program. I think it's going to help us all communicate and go towards that quality of pavement. You bet. Uh, if you've not checked out those courses, uh, like uh, Craig was saying, our initial course is the uh, Asphalt Essentials for Engineers. It will be coming out in January. You can come to Texas webpage, texasasphalt.org. Uh, get signed up right there. And Jim will be delivering uh, the deeper dive classes that you were talking about uh, all throughout the year. So uh, there's going to be lots of classes there. I encourage you to come get signed up for those classes. and. The great news about these classes, I mean, Jim has put a lot of new technology in these classes. There's lots of interaction, even though they're, mm -hmm. they're online. Absolutely. They're all free. Yes. They're all free for everybody. So I yeah. uh, encourage everybody to get signed up for that because they might not be free forever. Right now they will be for 2022, <laughs> that's for sure. So absolutely, uh, take advantage of that opportunity and um, jump in on them. I think it'd be a wealth of knowledge. You bet. You know, we also have a just a world of technicians out there. Technicians that are busy doing their jobs too. Uh, different than the engineering, just as important out there. And that's the way uh, that's the way we feel about the HMAC and the programs that Corey Schwartz and his team have going over there. And Craig, I know you and our Tech Apple leadership have have a new initiative going on over at the center too. Absolutely, there's um, you know the volume this year has been uh, has been amazing, and and uh, staff over at the HMAC. Is just risen to the level. They've 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 handled it uh, with grace and and, and uh, professionalism, and uh, really appreciate everybody over there. It's a it's well team. But uh, the board took a look a little bit at our, our facilities over there and our equipment, and said, you know what, we we need to be state of the art, and uh, we need to be on the cutting edge here. So well, we took a little time to to examine some of that, and uh, so now we're in the process of updating some of our equipment and. Uh, some of our facilities a little bit there and, and, and just bringing us, you know, getting, making sure that we're on that cutting edge with technologies and, and, uh, and equipment. So that way, whenever, you know, somebody comes into the, to the center, they're able to say, hey, this, this is the latest and greatest. This mm -hmm. is what we're using. This is what the, where the industry's going. And, um, and we, we feel that that'll, that'll translate uh, to, the, to their experience when they go back. So this will be mm -hmm. good. Without a doubt, you know that that's an investment in the future. Yes, it is. Uh, that's what you and Texapa leadership has done here for the entire uh, Texapa campus. Tell me about that Texapa campus. Uh, Texapa campus is wonderful. So, I believe it was in '17 the idea uh, was brought forward and then uh, ultimately uh, seized upon uh, to to purchase uh, the the building we're sitting in right now. Mm -hmm. And so, obviously, this, this this building is right behind our original building. And uh, <clears throat> to the foresight of our uh, our leadership at that time, uh, this building was acquired. We were able to renovate it into what it is today, and uh, also get the additional space that we needed at the Hot Mix Center as well. So, um, through their efforts um, and great strategic planning, mm -hmm. uh, this was uh, this uh, goal became reality. And um, happy to announce that that we're. We're now paid off, <laughs> uh, and, and so debt that, free. And that is amazing. Uh, that was an enormous burden, um, and um, it was um, you know quite a few conversations about it at the inception of it. But uh, it's been fruitful. And at this Amen. point, we've just um, uh, we're just going to be better off for it. And uh, with the volume that's now coming through the the Hamik Center, it's uh, it's very good. That we've got the the room over there to, to be you able bet. to service those people so um, it's it's worked out really really great and I I think the foresight uh, of our leadership at the time uh, can't be understated right um, and, and it, everything that we're looking at is focusing long term and our investments in the future um, I think it's important to think in in those terms and so everything we're trying to do is to try to keep that long term in focus 
Greg, y'all are doing a great job with that, and I know we have a, 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 a huge, bright future in front of us. There's no Absolutely. doubt about that. With opportunities abound in the state of Texas, we're very fortunate and very blessed. But, you know, if it wasn't here at TexAP, it wasn't for leaders like yourself and your board of directors. Your board of directors has been right there being great leaders as, as all of our board of directors have been. Absolutely. I uh, can't say enough about our board of directors. They share a vision, um, which is quality asphalt pavements. And yep. um, and they're, they're very active every month. We're in, you know, you know yep. working towards that goal and everything uh, that, that that they preside over or, or consider is is always looked at through that lens mm -hmm. of um, our long-term goals, what's good for the future, and uh, what'll help increase the industry's um, ability to create quality, long-lasting pavements. You bet, you bet. That's been a great goal. It's been your goal all year long. Y'all have done a tremendous job, and I just want to say, on, on behalf of all your Texas Apple staff, thank you so much for being a great leader. We've really enjoyed your time, and you've done a great job this year. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I, I'll just have to say I've built on um, prior leadership's um, visions and goals, and uh, they've set uh, a good example. Mm. And um, so that that makes it easier. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I hope uh, we can continue on this path because I see a bright future for us. Absolutely. Just an amazing future. And uh, and uh, so we're going to keep on that path and, and keep that goal out in front of us and think long term. You bet. I want to thank everybody for joining us today. Thank you for listening to Craig Odom, our president in 2021, and listening to all the great accomplishments we've had at TechSAPA this year. And we owe that all to our membership and our great partners throughout the industry. So thank you very much. I uh, hope you have a wonderful year coming up, and uh, we will see you soon.